the hell is Lazar? Not what, who? Portuguese, lives in Macau. Chap who made the bullet 007. Listen to me, when my wife died, this kid's mother sat with her. Now, do I hope that this kid didn't pull the trigger? Yeah. But if you think that I'm trying to protect him in any way, you can kiss my French Portuguese ass. You don't want to be pointing that finger in my chest too much. Yeah, well, you don't want to be saying that I'm not doing my job. Hey. The fourth is quite good. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. What year is it? 51. Ah. Delectable. Indeed. Yes. Oh, dear. What is it? I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. I've grown tired of living. Ah, very good then. For the best. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it raining again? No. What I'm uncomfortable with is treating a little kid like it's an adult. If you people let your kids come here, they're going to be miserable in four different languages. Five. We start Portuguese in the fall. <laughs> How many languages do you listen to, woman? You ever just... He's right there. What's going on? I'm taking care of you. You're... Hey! Hey! This is Nanny. She only speaks Portuguese. Well, what's Portuguese for? Ow, you're ripping my chest hair out. Pego una camiseta limpa para ese menino. Clean shirt. Got it. What's she doing? What's that jar? She's got salve! She's got salve! Oh. Doyle, uh, relax. Nanny took care of me for oh years. Oh, God. Banks. Grand Banks are west of us. I'm headed east. The Flemish cap. The Flemish cap. Oh, you know, why don't we steam to Portugal while we're at it? Look what you've done! You sunk Portugal! <laughs> Yet another vibrant people and culture lost because of your poor steering. And all you can say is, whoops. I are shame. Bitch kitty. A woman. They sent us a woman, a freaking woman. Austin, what is that, French? My father's family is from Portugal. Hmm. A breeder with education. Pablo! Pablo! El Vaticano investiga la posible por la posible posesión de la niña portuguesa. La niña poseída. Of course, I'm his friend. Uh, English is a very confusing language. If you're his, oh, Leah Zetzel. There's that word again. Huh. Interpol missed Halligan in Portugal. He cleared more customs an hour ago. Did he tell you who stole them? No, all he said was that the plans are not plans. Well, what about suspects? There's a Senorita Morendez who's a Spanish dancer. And there's a Hector Bacardo, a Portuguese polo player. Don't you have some kind of secret information for us? Oh, yes, I almost forgot. You know that Portuguese polo player? Hector Bacardo. The one in the wheelchair. Right. Well, he's not what he pretends to be. I knew it. I knew it. He's Polish. Of course. Portuguese are terrible polo players. <laughs> they know something about... They can't win, but they lose beautifully, and the whole experience is just better. Look at this. With my own hands, I'm making these boats the exact same way the Spanish and the Portuguese made their great ships of exploration. There's a continuity at stake here, Charlie. This is more than a boat. You like her? Oh, she's a handsome boat. Yeah. Mine's one of the long boats. They would run out of the sweet harbor at Bantry Bay. Actually, I uh, designed this one based on a Portuguese boat, but historically, you're, you're correct. Fare you well on your journey. Remember, the King of Portugal, your future husband, loves and respects you. You must love him in return. Mm. <laughs> I get it. It's a in the mais bello co tu retrato. Sinto me teo fortunado. Per stars a presa, torna te mina reina. Is the tudo at to a disposition? Mm. So credit is a feliz. Ne que me fasse feliz. Y después. Vamos, Fazer Fios.
muitos fios. Como ajuda de Deus. Ok. The X-10s are online. Gentlemen, I am now about to send a signal from this laptop through our local ISP, racing down fiber optic cable at the speed of light to San Francisco, bouncing off a satellite in geosynchronous orbit to Lisbon, Portugal, where the data packets will be handed off to submerged transatlantic cables terminating in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and transferred across the continent via microwave relays back to our ISP and the X-10 receiver attached to this. Lamp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, buddy. Tommy, you know I got nothing against you. But Valenti, he's one of my own. It's the Portuguese turn to have that U.S. Senate seat. If Valenti were an Irishman, you'd be doing the same thing. If you were an Irishman, Paul, you'd mm. have the sense not to run on the government's ticket. Not so, Senor de Torres. I am here for another matter. His Majesty, having great respect for the fighting skills of the Portuguese, command that all your able-bodied men join him in the war against the renegade Kingdom of Lana. Please, tell His Majesty the Portuguese community will serve the King in any way that so he wishes. Portuguese bullfighting is different from the Spanish style in two important ways. In Portugal, they don't kill the bull, and the matador is on horseback. Ooh, those are some big, big bulls. These are the ones, these are the prime animals that will be used in the bullfights, in the corridas. Hey, what's going on? Fredo is dead. <laughs> that strange Portuguese guy lives next door to the incinerator? No, my bird. We just got back from the pet cemetery. Oh, Phil. Mrs. Phil. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'll bet you are. They told us he was poisoned. Something in his food. But I, I didn't, I... Kramer, they think I killed Fredo. And who buries a bird? Yeah, just give it to the Portuguese guy and he puts it in the incinerator. I didn't want to break it out in front of the whole family, but check it out. Pacey, hey, you have been extremely generous. I don't need anything else. Come on, over up. You're gonna like it. <sighs> Pace, this, this is above and beyond. Yeah, and you see, now you can get rid of that one you've had since the Reagan administration. Hey, I'll tell you, I love this watch, okay? It lights up and everything. Sure, but can it tell you the time in Portugal? I think not. That's, that's three countries in three days, baby. Oh, don't call me baby. You just happened to be having your car fixed in the south of France. You just happened to wander into my uncle's house in Berlin. I was trying to save your life. You just happened to be having breakfast in Lisbon? That's, <laughs> that's quite a coincidence. 